What's up? What's up? I get my angles straight there. Peace to the family. Sex magic. This one's going to get crowded quick. Anytime you put something with the word sex in it and magic and sex magic, a lot of people just seem to just come. But then when you put generational curses, people be like, oh, can those two subjects go together? Well, I'm about to put them together. Can sex magic cause generational curses? Let's talk about it. But after we get our prayer on, please press two. If you share this video, please introduce yourself. I'm Coach Kyrie, Team Taurus, Atlanta, Georgia. Abdul Kul Tafalatai, Wabazun, Gamma Faragun, Shalel Kalum. I am in the love of all and all love is in me. I am a part of all and all is a part of me. And I am one with all and all is one with me. And I can succeed as a part of all and fail as an individual. And I can be all that I wish in all as long as my wish is to stay in all. I am never alone. All is, I am. All can, I can. All does, I do. I like when I'm like in a prayer. You know, the like reason I started laughing. What up, Ree? What up, Vonda? Oh, Vonda, we're getting ready to get into it. Jesus is getting ready to definitely come through the crowd tonight. Please press two if you share the video. And also, like I said, introduce yourself. Um, I'll be praying and all of a sudden I get a message. So the message I just got while I was praying was lessons you don't learn only get harder. Because that's really what generational curses are. They're lessons that somebody didn't learn and they keep getting harder and harder every lifetime, right? So just a separate example of lessons you don't learn only get harder. I told somebody to do something. I suggested that they do it on Monday. It was like, no, 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 no. I'm going to do it on Tuesday. Then they waited to the end of the day on Tuesday. Knowing that Thursday is Thanksgiving, which is tomorrow. And they got stuck at the airport. Right. Had to go get a room because they couldn't get out the airport on Tuesday. But if they left on Monday, they'd had all day to get out of the airport on Monday. They'd already be relaxing. And I was getting ready to be like, you know what? I could really complain about that or talk junk about that. But that's their lesson to learn that sometimes Kair is right. And time management is like something special. But I'm talking about generational curses and sex magic. How y'all doing? What up, Donald? Jasmine is in the building. Please don't. T please don't be like, uh, I want to know, can I invite a person on here? Oh, man. Are y'all serious? Rhonda Groves, every time she always checks in. I think it's something wrong with Facebook sometimes. I don't think it's like it's saying it's a watch party or whatever. I think sometimes I'm trying to do something and Facebook is like, I got another agenda. But I'm going to have this conversation anyway. Sex magic and generational cur uh, curses. What up, Trey? Tonight we having a class on healing generational curses, honoring your ancestors, healing your ancestors, setting up your altar. Because a lot of people really don't be thinking about generational curses. But they are so real. They are so real. Why can't she join? Just don't make any sense. It definitely is not letting me add. It's not letting me add nobody. This is not a watch party. It's just a live. So, um, this man, Coach K, is nonstop, unstoppable. Probably. But if you feed me and give me a lot of money, that'll slow me down. And that's cool. I'm cool with that. But I don't see y'all pressing two to share this video. So, sex magic. All the time you hear women talking about. I want to put, I, they're either talking about or bragging about how much they're involved in sex magic or how much they want sex magic. But did you ever think that sex magic could cause a generational curse? Because sex magic, if you just think about it's, it, and normally because people don't know what sex is for, people think that sex is only for a physical release. Sex is for some kind of gratification. Sex is for healing and manifesting. 
but you can manifest a spell on somebody using sex magic. You could manifest some really cruddy, evil stuff using sex magic. If you could use sex magic to get a car, mortgage, house, trip, all of this stuff, please share this video in all the groups that you can because somebody needs to hear about this. If you can create all that through sex, why you can't create a curse to put on somebody? That's why I wanted Jasmine to come on because Jasmine is, um, she's a witch, practicing witch. She knows about putting curses on and removing them. But when you're removing a curse, where'd it come from? And that's the easiest way to figure out how to reverse a curse. Blocking a curse or uh, reversing a curse is best done if you know the origin. What up, Demetrius? Joseph is in the building. Thank you for sharing, Jasmine. Whoever else, please introduce yourself. Are you, you know, I'm Team Taurus, Atlanta, Georgia. What up? Hey, Cheryl. What up, Marilyn? But if, if I can produce all these wonderful things with sex magic and regular magic, then what can I do with something evil or not so nice? You see what I'm saying? I could put that on somebody else. So you, not necessarily you, the person who's looking, but you probably know somebody whose family has a generational curse on their family, the bloodline. Now, it either came in through a man or a woman. And what are some of the reasons that women and men get upset? Men and women get upset about things that are sexual. We intense. Oh, you did this to me. I feel that you are unjust to me. What would cause someone to put a curse on your family? And if they put a curse on your family, how how strong must it have been the intent in order for it to stick? It had to have been crazy intense. So a lot of people who, you know, you like wanting sex magic to manifest things like a house, a car, a partner, but all those things are lower level than a generational curse. That's just riding down your gene pool. It's riding on your aura. It's riding on the spiritual energy of your family. Mother, father, grandfather, grandfather, great-grandfather. All of that. Yeah, Cheryl is saying, hmm, she hadn't thought about that before. How many of y'all even thought about that? Press one if you have thought about it. Press zero if you've never thought that sex magic could cause a generational curse on a family. Not even your family. Right. So, because you out here doing rituals. Ah, 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 ah. I need this, I need this, I need that. But you may have a generational curse on your family and never thought about clearing that up. That's why I like Chinese medicine. Chinese medicine, you may have something wrong with your liver, which is on the left side. Is that no, My spleen is on the left. And they may take a needle and press it in your ear on the right. Or they may do something on your shoulder blade on the right. Or may put something on your hip. And you'll be like, but I said it's my uh, spleen over here on the left. But things are so interconnected that you can't even see. You can't see the veins running through here. You can see like the skin on top of the veins, but you can't see all the nerve endings and the muscle fibers and all that running through here. So there's all of this stuff that is moving through the universe, moving through your family that you ain't even considered. And you might be like, why my magic ain't working? 
What if you got a big heavyweight curse over the family and you only getting this kind of results? That's what we're doing in class tonight at nine o'clock. We're going over generational curses because you on Facebook, you ain't getting ready to tell me your business about your family. Good, uh, good evening, Ms. Ray, Angelic Ray. Selfdiscoveryclass.info. If you'd like to come to class this evening, we would love to have you. We're going to be talking about setting up your altar and healing your ancestors. But just because you healed your ancestors, the generational curse may still be active. Like, it's like, for instance, somebody cured themselves, somebody cured themselves from cancer or their cancer is in remission, but cancer is still running rampant in the world. You see what I'm saying? Or somebody got their insurance money from getting robbed, but they didn't catch the thief. The thief is still out here robbing houses. So the thief may be skipping your house, but the thief is going to other houses. How do we stop the thief? How do we get to the root of it? To me, that was like, that's the root. Because we're always talking about protection. Who? How many of y'all have thought about, how many of you have done spiritual baths for protection? Or Jasmine, how many protection spells do you give out per month or per week? Everybody wants protection from something. What is it that you want protection from? Why do you need protection? Why do you think you need protection? This is this is the crazy part. Why do you think you need so much protection? Who's after you? What did you do for somebody to even go into that length of things to like put a spell on you? Huh? I'm trying to get my collar straight. They said they said I look better with a collar and some colors so you know, I'm getting ready to go to work tonight, so I have to tighten up a little bit. What up, Team Taurus in Illinois? I see you. John Rayner, Fayetteville's finest, or Cape Fear's finest, um, or Cumberland County. But why would you need so much protection if there wasn't so much energy and effort coming your way? You feel what I'm saying? And not necessarily... Yep, because we did some things, but maybe somebody else did some things. What if there's a spell on your family that you're always going to attack, attract an attack from an adversary? Or what if you had protection over your whole family lineage? And then all of a sudden somebody broke that, broke that barrier and was like, we're going to pull the veil back over this family line right here. You know how many people are suffering from that right now? Probably 90% of people who are involved in magic. But you out here talking about sex magic. Ooh, sex magic. Ooh, I need some sex magic. Right. But your great, great grandfather could have had a woman use some type of sex magic because there's several forms of sex magic. It's not all through intercourse. Team Capricorn in the Atlanta, Georgia area. You ain't in Atlanta. Your butt is way up north. It took you two hours to get to my house. You in Alpharetta um, or Smyrna or something. I'm just joking. But how do you know? What about a brother who didn't like rejection. Your great-grandmother turned him down and, he, and married your great-grandfather. And then this other person was like, you know what? I'm putting a curse on this chick. In the 1800s, early 1900s. Man, it was it, it's always been going down. And because nobody put any attention to it, it's continued to foster over and over and over again. And you ain't paying attention and ain't doing nothing to it. That's the class we're doing tonight. You, so we be talking about, is your altar set up? That's your first defense against the, uh, the generational curse. Because I need my ancestors to tell me who did what. I just got here. I just walked into this shit show that my mother, father, and grandparents have left me. And great parents have left me. And I'm trying to live my best life. And y'all got a generational curse going on that I have to fix before I can live my best life. 
So then if I have some kids, they won't be getting off of the shit show that I'll be passing down to them. I ain't doing that. If you just got here, please press two if you shared the video. Thank you so much. Introduce yourself. I'm Coach Kyrie, Team Taurus, Atlanta, Georgia. Let me know your sign, Zodiac, and what city and state, what part of the country, what part of the world you in. How you feeling tonight? And what do you feel about this particular topic? Yes, Cummings is for lovers. I feel you. So basically what I can tell you is we're going to have, this is going to be our subject tonight. Our classes are group or individual class in a group setting. The class is based around your questions. So if you need, you got questions about your altar, candles, everything ancestral is tonight. Everything anything got something to do with anything ancestral, lineage, whatever. This is the night to come to class. Yep. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cheryl says I'm passionate about this topic. Me too. What up, April? What up, Stephanie? Thanks for sharing. Press two. I appreciate everybody who did share the video. Thank. What's up, Let's Talk Magic? I see y'all over there. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is a biggie. It's not, it's not, it's not a joke. So all things ancestry tonight. Building, building altars, what side of the room the altar should be on, where not to put your altar, feeding your altar, ancestor money, what face should be on the ancestor money, sending them clothes. Um, Dr. Gibson's been asking these questions about your ancestor come to you in a dream every night at three o'clock, talking about they in despair. What do you do? Do you know what to do? Do you know what these dreams are? Do you know how to look up? I mean, do you know how to recognize clues to an ancestral curse or an ancestor that needs healing? You can't just keep honoring the ancestor by talking about them. There's something that you need to physically do to help your ancestors. I hope that makes sense. It's going to make sense tonight if you come into class. What up, Jai Thomas? What up, Mrs. Hill? Mrs. Moore? How y'all feeling this evening? Ayana's in the building, Pittsburgh. Mad interested in this topic. Well, you will be mad interested in being in class this evening. Now, make sure when you sign up for class, you get the login. You get a private password. So when you log in, if you didn't get the private, like you pay for the class, it's only $26. If you pay for the class and then you um, get a PayPal receipt, but you don't get a private password, you're not registered fully. You have to send me a message before 830. We start class at nine o'clock sharp. Please don't come in at 904, 910 and be like, you know what? I, I signed up, but I ain't get the paper. I ain't get the link. I'm sitting there telling you now. All right. And Jasmine's about to do a video right after this. I'm going to try to get on with her. And she's going to tell you the same thing about the password. If you don't have a password, you have to inbox me so I can give you a um, the, the registration link that'll help you finish. You're supposed to get it automatically, but a lot of y'all pay and then leave before you finish. Okay? So don't do that this evening. Please stay on board. Bring you, bring your ancestors. This one's going to be epic. This is class number 13. It's that Baker's Dozen. Yeah, 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 yeah. What up, Team Sagittarius? All of y'all should be in the building. All my Scorpios, y'all should be in the building. Um, and this is another reason because it's you know, Thanksgiving. We honoring. If I'm giving thanks, what am I giving thanks about? Should not be talking about? This is what I'm thankful for, healing my generational curse in my family. All right? Uh, what up, Goddess Vanessa L. Council? Your ancestors are your spiritual teammates. Offense and defense and cheerleaders, right? So if you ain't got a relationship with them, then who's playing, who's scoring touchdowns for you? Who's watching your back and who's cheering you on? But it's bigger than just, can, can you work with somebody who got a limp? Like if everybody comes in and joins my team, they already got a bullet in their leg. What can I do with that? So don't I have to start? repairing, hey, go on, everybody in my whole lineage got a bullet in their leg, everybody got heart problems, everybody is always getting the limb cut off, all the women in my family oh. have come on, man, there's a lot of stuff going on, that's all I'm sharing today, the rest of it we're going to have it in class tonight, so I hope you be up in there, I hope you took something away from this, yes, sex magic can cause a generational curse, but somebody can use sex magic any way they want to, right toe. You know how people are, men and women, all types. People are like, what women you be dealing with? 
All of them. <laughs> yes, we're going to be talking about protection tonight too. Breaking those curses, healing your ancestors, protection, you know, just getting up, just getting in the proper alignment. So when you do go over to somebody's table tomorrow and slide your feet up under their table, you know what I'm saying? You at least will have your mind state where you're supposed to be. And also how to identify the person in your family who might be the weak link who letting in the generational curse. Yeah, what if y'all been doing great and somebody let it in? Also, it could go down between brothers. Yeah, I really feel my uncle tried to do something to my daddy. Yeah, oh, absolutely. For sure. My daddy was the baby and my uncle was, my daddy was the baby, so he was catching breaks on the farm. My uncle was jealous of him. But before they died, my uncle had all the money and my daddy died broke and in debt. My uncle could have just wrote a check. He could have, or he could have told his, he could have told his son, yo, when I die, my, <laughs> when I die, whatever my brother's funeral bills is, you cover it. Just cover his debt. Just take care of that. He kept it all to himself. That's how angry he was. So I knew it was some shit going on in my family. I'm going to tell that story tonight when we get to class. All right. What up, Miss Devereaux? What up, Corey? Team Pisces in Richmond, Virginia. I really appreciate y'all stopping through tonight. I'm going to see y'all at 9 o'clock. Coach Kyrie, Team Taurus, Atlanta, Georgia. Tonight we're talking about generational curses, honoring and healing your ancestors, getting all of your stuff set up the proper way. Please bring your questions and bring a friend. Bring your children. This is the episode. This, this one for your kids. Now, you can ask any question you want. You can still ask about business. You can ask about websites. You can ask about Zodiac stuff. You can ask about anything that you desire while you're in this class. So don't think that's still self-discovery because we on the path of self-mastery, but self-discovery. So, you know, you should be looking at generational curses. We're trying to cover any topic that could help you get closer to self-discovery, which leads to self-mastery. All right. What up, Be Chill, South, South Carolina? Adrian. So, um, yeah, that's my piece on that right there. Until class, I got to save something. Found you in peace. I'm gonna leave you in prayer. Ana Bukoa, Kajalaki Minka, Tatia Tezara, Kabel Renat, Amcha Sagvanu, Tahara Numura, Nagi Bo, the Shea Yekadeka, Kabu Bai Shamla, Barkam Taram Raka May, Tazika Taker, Tamid Gamla, Kasim Kadosh, Baru Tufka, Nael Ada Taken, Yakit Gael, Amcha Penez, or Craig Atushka Taken. Shavat Nuka Bell Ushma to Zakat Nuya Dea Talamot, Bururuk Shem, Kobo Makuto, Alam Vaye. Angie Eve is in the building. Adrian, I know you're from Houston, but they're not a hub in Houston. I don't think about that. Like, where do you stay at? You just be back and forth to Houston? I know you figure it out. Anyway, Team Libra in Dallas. How you doing, Alexandra? Go back and catch the replay of this. I'm trying to keep it short. I'm going to holler at y'all tonight. Peace.